here we are with Brawl Out, the final arcade easy mode playthrough. If I get enough requests, I might start doing the medium and hard, but probably not with every character. Maybe with a certain character y'all request, but that's only if I get enough requests. We're here with Dead Cells. Dead Cells, the trolley character that, when they announced him, made it look like it was going to be Shovel Knight. And I th even think that um, he has a reference to Shovel Knight in his... Uh, description because one of his moves is a shovel and it says any weapon can be or any object can be a weapon if you put enough velocity towards it. it seems like that's a be a quote from Shovel Knight. Like I said I've never played Shovel Knight but uh, I hear great things about it and I've seen playthroughs and it does look fun and I would like maybe one day when the game's fully done with like it's 95 expansions I will check out Shovel Knight. Wherever you came from you have brought the stench of death with you. Okay, now that is hardly my fault. Whoever or whatever you are, I'm afraid I must force you to leave this world. Dead Cells, um... I said he's not... That, that's the shovel move, by the way. Shovel right there. He's not terrible. Um, like I said, we've seen him during playthroughs. And uh, he's actually really good. He's not as good as the Drifter, in my opinion, but... He's kind of cool looking, too. He's got these goofy look -going, looking ways of walking and running. He's got a cool little scarf. He's got this guard that you can hold up if you have enough rage meter. And uh, yeah, he's actually a pretty decent character. He, just like uh, Drifter and the other guest characters, feels finished. Like he has moves that other characters don't have. Like he has a down special, and yeah, that's supposed to stay on the ground and light the fire, but whatever. He's got some range too. Ganondorf. But, uh, fun fact he was actually in this game, I believe, before Ganondorf was in using his swords in Smash Brothers. Could be wrong though. I know he was the last character added to this game recently. Back in, I won. Oh, freaking axe, son! We got Astaroth in here, too. I, <laughs> I love his uh, little walk animation. It's hilarious, look with the arms out. But uh, I don't know what I would compare him to. I think he's just actually just Dead Cells from the game Dead Cells. So, yeah. And uh, I've never played Dead Cells, but I've seen. Gameplay video trailers, like I said, it looks like a Metroidvania type game. Speaking of Metroidvania, let's talk about Guacamelee, shall we? <laughs> Guacamelee, probably the most popular indie Metroidvania style game slash beat 'em up, also, it is. Alright, Dead Cells vs. Juan. Flameface, this world must not agree with you. You're smoldering. Wait, who? <laughs> Wait. Where are your guns? You're not Flame Face at all. <laughs> Wait, who? Dead Cells could also spam the hell out of his arrows, from what I've read before, until they patched... I think they patched that that he can only use three arrows and they have to recharge over time, like Olaf Tyson could spam the hell out of his freeze move and basically KO you easily. The only character in this game I noticed I could spam a projectile is the drifter. Nice axe attack. I must ask you a question, Juan. But, um... I don't know if that's intentional that the drifter can spam his little gun. But, um... Yeah. Whip is good, though. Uh, I'm not the drifter or anybody. I'm dead self. Poor Juan. He just can't recover. You must recover, though. Such a shame. Alright. Who's next? I forgot who was next. It's Ukulele! The character we beat it last time with. The only other guest character that gets a stage in the game besides Dead Cells. Who Dead Cells has the best stage in the game. The most fun stage, I should say. <laughs> Let's go, Ukulele. Show me what you got. Show me, baby! Yuka, take a look at this guy. It's the Headless Corpseman. Look at this guy, Yuka. Compensating much? He's got swords, and a spear, and a bow, and a hammer. 
Dot dot dot. And a whip, and hey, he's got a shovel! So, uh... <laughs> that, that, that so far, or I should say that is the only character interaction that had more than just three back and forth conversations. Alright, show me what you got. Nice, uh, use of the rage. Poke. Poke oh, my spear. This is running, yeah. this is walk animation. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm trying to block. But yeah, Dead Cells is actually really good. With the good. But he's, he's nowhere near. Nowhere near as good, in my opinion, as the Drifter. Drifter's just so, so much more fun. Alright, ukulele. That's enough. You want me to hit you with the axe again? I'm gonna ask you a question. Do you want me to hit you with the axe? Got him. Do 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 do. This is the. This is that little vlog animation just right. Do 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 do. All right, ukulele. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's fight over here for a little bit, buddy. And you're done. Whoosh! Oh no! Oh, ukulele. Usually you put up a really good fight. This time, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> All right. Who's next? King Apu, and then Drifter, or the Drifter, Volt, and Sephira. Sephira, Sephira, Sephira. I think that's how you say her name. Sephira, Sephira. Whew! All right, King Apu. A headless body walking around. That's something I don't see every day. A tyrant king. That's something I see pretty much every day. <laughs> the magic that animates you interests me. I think I'll take it. <laughs> like that. That's something I see every day. Whew, that axe, son. I asked him a question, he didn't respond. And now... Oh, I poked him to death. Tried to, uh, you know, gimp him, but it's not it's not working in my case. I'm gonna shoot an arrow at him, or he's just gonna be a jerk. Be like, hey, check it out. I'm gonna get right in your damn face, so you can't shoot any arrows at me. Poke him. I'll bash him with a s shovel. It's a shovel right there. Shovelry at its best. Yeah. Oh dear. Get out of here. Oh dear. Get out of here, damn it. Oh, oh, shoot, shoot him, shoot him. Oh. And. Was he trying to tether recovery? Can he tether recovery, King Apu? I think I said that. I, I think I said he could in a previous video. I don't think he can. Shot him with an arrow, got him again. Poked him with my spear. He's gonna make it back, he always does. Rage? No rage? He's done! I win! Dead Cells! Woo! It's a cool character design too, I'll say. Dead Cells. You got a little scarf, a little head, a little funny walk animation. Reminds me a lot of Sir Daniel Fortescue. Oh look! It's the Hyperlight Drifter! Really wish Drifter got his own stage, and Juan, but... Guess beggars can't be choosers, unfortunately. Let's go, baby. You don't seem of this world either. It's because I'm not a talking animal? There are quite a few of them. <laughs> oh wow, they... They, uh... They don't get that much banter. It's strange. So... They only just had one back and forth instead of usually one talks, the other one talks, and the other one talks. Strange, so I guess they kind of rush that cell's uh, stuff there. The only one that... Wow. Here I am, like, praising the hell out of Drifter here. When, uh... <laughs> I'm beating the holy hell out of him. But then again, the computer really doesn't know how to use this character. 
All right, get out of here. We both make the same noises. The chim chim chim. Okay, get out. The rage, nice. My percentage too, by the way. Nice, finishing off like that. Poke him with a little sword, I guess. By the way, I can confirm. Once you unlock all the costumes with those pinatas there, you just get a bunch of coinage. I think it's like 3,500. Uh, yeah, I think it's like that. Because I just did it uh, in the previous playthrough. I unlocked the final costume in the game with uh, someone, and then I got another pinata like that, and it gave me just a whole bunch of coinage. All right, Volt. Show me what you got. You reek of some foul foreign magic. What exactly are you? You know, that's a pretty good question. I still don't have an answer to. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the spirits tell me I can't let a magic like yours run free in the forest. I'm really loving Dead Cell's uh, personality, if this is really how he's like in that game. Watch him just be like that typical silent antagonist, though. But, uh, that's funny. Some of his quips he's got going on here. You know, I, I really don't know either. <laughs> Damn it. Or, you know, that, that, I really like that one with the drifter. You're, you don't seem like you're from this world. It's because I'm not a talking animal, because there are quite a few of those in here. And the King Apu one. I see that every day. I like it. I like his little goofy personality. And the fact when he's talking to ukulele that I think it's Lele won't shut the hell up and he just dot dot dot. I know dot 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 isn't what they're saying but it's supposed to represent like a hmm type silence. But I, I like to say dot 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 because it's funny. I also got that from Angry Beavers with Daggett. Uh, yes, dot dot dot? Maybe? Dot dot dot? I know what it means, it must, it must mean I take over the forest! Aha! Shot him with my arrow! Wow. I, I, I can't say anything about Dead Cells here that who he would remind me of when it comes to combinations like I've mentioned. Sephora, Sephora. As if Fox and Sheik were together, and then Drifter as if Fox, Link, and Marth were together. Or Cloud, I'm sorry. And then, um, Volt, I mentioned if Nightwolf, Blanca, and apparently Sonic the Hedgehog were all put into one character. And King Apu is basically Planet of the Apes mixed with, uh, Journey to the West. I like some of the characters in this game. Paco's definitely top. Another foreign invader. Hey, I was invited. Hey, don't lose your head. <laughs> they're, they're getting really, <laughs> they got real lazy with Dead Cells here because for some reason, he, he was the last character added to the game so far. Unless they come out with another random update out of nowhere because um, uh, if my calculations are correct, there are some characters in here that only have two variations, while a whole bunch of other characters have three. And I can see them making another variation for other characters. Like, Paco only has two variations, while Olaf Tyson has three. Sephira has three. And, um... Uh, King Apu has three. Uh, Chief Feathers has three variations. The only ones that don't have three variations is Volt, Paco, and, um, there's one more I'm missing. One more I'm missing, I believe. Unless it's just Volt and Paco that only have two variations instead of the three. Oh, I'm sorry, Chief Feathers. Even though I probably put him in the category there. Chief Feathers only has two character variations so far. I said, you never know. Fallout might make another random update out of nowhere. Add a character variation and add another guest character. Kind of neat. Again, this game hasn't been updated since, what, uh, December 2019, I want to say? Maybe even November? I don't know. 
I downloaded it when it was basically in the in the eShop. I downloaded it in 2020 during quarantine. Because uh yeah. I was like, let's try something new. Final stage with dead cells. Who is it? Paco. Or maybe it's Juan. No, we already fought Juan, right? Yeah, flame face he called me. Who oh, wait, who? <laughs> Whew. It's been fun so far, but like I said, I'll have one more brawl out video after this one. Show off the party mode and whatnot. Ugh, you smell like bad meat. Like something that's just been laying around for days. Do I really smell that bad? Maybe it's a good thing I don't have a nose. <laughs> and again, very little dialogue between these two, but he, he does get a lot of, uh, things about smelling bad. It's pretty funny. Like, do I really smell that bad? It's a good thing I don't have a nose. Can't tell if he's talking to them, though, or if he's just thinking it. Because, you know, he doesn't have a mouth, either. Alright, these guys. Get out of here, Mako. Guncho, Puncho, too. And Paco. I love all three of you. But, it's time to put an end to this. Rage. Here. Shoot him up. Poke him in the face. How did you reach me from all the way over there? Get out of here. Damn it all. That would have KO'd him too. I like the fact he gets a different uh, hit spark for uh, certain things. Which I, I'll show that off too. Like certain uh, things that you can customize in the game. Such as having different hit sparks and uh, KO trails. I'll show that off in the party mode. Suck it, Paco. Maybe just couch mode. No, no. We'll do, we'll do the party mode. Because I don't know if you can actually KO anybody in the party mode. That's why. Come on, Paco. Just, uh, just give it up. Just give it up! Give it up, buddy. I'm in rage mode. You're done. Gotcha! Gotcha! Oh, he ain't coming. Oh, he is coming back. I missed. Apparently slamming an axe in the air like this makes noises. Did you hear it? It sounded like when you hit the air, you hit the ground. Strange how that works. Oh, wow. He, he messed up the throw. Oh. Yeah, we psyched him out. I made him recover on me and I fell to the death. Haha. <laughs> Some dead cells, get it? Ah, you don't get it. Alright. Dead cells ending now. Does he get more pictures than Juan? So far, Juan just stood there. It's a cool picture. It was real. A world free of the Malassi, free of the king, free of the monsters that plagued the island. Oh, wow, that's actually really cool artwork. Prisoner was faced with a serious choice. Stop the time resets and therefore really end the game, or just die as usual. The timeline got restarted once more, bringing with it a slight change in reality. Aw oh, damn, that was a very quick uh, ending. That's it for Brawlout's Arcade Easy Mode. Stay tuned, I got one more Brawlout video. My name is Klinkeroth, I thank you all so much for watching.